Poser series is about four girls who have nothing in common except for their shared love of fashion and they're thrown together into this class and they're forced to work together and they find out that despite their differences and like the big fights that they have that they end up creating things that are better than anyone else because of those differences. It's about fashion, it's about friendship, it's about boys, it's about everything under the sun in high school. I went to kind of a hoity-toity private school in LA and I was the neighborhood kid and I didn't really know anything about fashion. I was 12 and suddenly it was like I was immersed in this sort of like fashion show universe where everybody shopped at Neiman Marcus and Fred Siegel and Barney's. They just belong to sort of like a more a Beverly Hills rich kid sort of world and I didn't feel like I was part of that and wanted to desperately. What goes into Poser is sort of like this feeling of being outside, wanting to belong to that world. But what's good about my books is that especially the girl Janie who's outside of that world, she uses her imagination, she uses her creativity and her talents to kind of create her own path to fulfilling the dream of like looking really great. In the book, I incorporate a lot of sketches that are supposed to be Janie Farish's sketches. She observes people in her high school and sort of like, if she thinks they're fashionable, will record it in her sketchbook. Everybody assumes that I'm Janie because she grew up in the valley and I grew up in the valley. But I think there's a little bit of me in all of the, the characters. Charlotte is sort of when I was in graduate school and I thought I was like, really cool and like I would wear high heels. It's when I moved to New York and I felt like I had to dress like a character in Sex and the City every day. Melissa is more of a stretch because she's just so sassy and like in your face. But like if I could be any of the four girls, definitely Melissa. Like she's all confidence and glitz and she's unapologetic. I think what writers do is you create a universe where you're able to be the kind of person that you like ideally would want to be. In my books, I, I talk about these girls who are much more together fashion-wise, much cooler, much more imaginative. It's like I'm living out my dream through them.